so in this video we are going to create a database named cricket db with the table name will be cricket and we'll create all these columns names and we will have to give them <coughs> the value the data types we haven't gone through yet i will go through so let me show you quickly what are those data types so i had to search it and i came up with this one <clears throat> this this is the website if you want to go to and this is the uh, data types that we can and if you must that bit is, is either zero or one tiny int is zero bit to 25 255 but we just call it time integer small integer is from this number to this one we go with actually integer big integer decimal numeric uh, we don't go with load every uh, like we can but for our purpose we are not we are just going with these three uh, from int to flow uh, numeric then no sorry we integer big integer decimal uh, bit date time date time and then character variable character and text so these are some of the one that you need to know you can go with all of them depending on what you need in there but uh, you can pretty much get away with what i mentioned there so <clears throat> next we can <clears throat> go here and this is the database that we need to create so you see I'm working in practice 3 so that's not what I want what I want to do is create let me create database and that will be cricket underscore DB so you cannot have spaces you have to go with uh, underscore if you want to so now we can cricket underscore db if I run just this one it will not work because we haven't ran this one so first we have to run this one and you see command successful now if I run it you see it's changed now in there we have to create a table so we are creating create table so I can show you actually there so if I, we go to database and it's not uh, cricket is not here yet we refresh it it will show up here and if we go in there in the tables there's nothing right the create table what the table name is cricket let's see can I run it can I get the command successful incorrect syntax near CLIs. So I made a boo boo, and what the the mistake I made is that we have to at least add one column. So that's the mistake that I made, and I have to fix it. So because we are with uh, creating a table without a column, how is that possible, right? So we have to give it at least one column. So we go, we remove this, we go down, and we can say. The first one that is player that's really I will go with capital ID see and player ID we can put this as uh, integer right so now it should work incorrect syntax near id okay so again mistake uh, each time you are creating if you are doing this that tells that that this is inside a this is the column like the this is how it's supposed to be done that you are saying it's a table and this one the next one is uh, <coughs> um, the next one is uh, the column so I can list all of them 
and I so if I run it it will add create a table with just this uh, column right here but I can list all of them and it will create so let's do that actually if we can so first let's see and execute and exec successfully so now I want to add more so what I will do is I'm gonna go with the alter command that I that says alter what a table okay what's the table name cricket C R I C K E T. and what we are doing in there we are adding so this time notice that I don't have to do this because a table has already been created and there are uh, columns in there at least one so this time I'm not uh, using the small uh, bracket because it's already there it knows and I am adding what a column so now I can list all of the names of different columns so I can say let's see what's the next one is player name God. player name and obviously it's gonna be variable character cause right and we can say it should be about 200 right next we can put a comma because we are going with another uh, uh, column name we're gonna put it as age and we can put integer again comma when then we go location now location can be you can see it's a different city's name so we again variable character and we can give it 200 we really sh don't need that so we can put let's say 100 and that should be enough again comma because we are adding another yet another one number of matches <clears throat> so that will be integer <clears throat> comma and number of innings like you can see number of innings will be it will not be a decimal it will always be an integer so again then we go with runs and again that could be that's in thousands so if we go there I need that so integer can be a number of two oh it's pretty big so I'm good there I can put the integer so let's go back and again runs can be integer again comma then we can see centuries that can be other another integer 50s again integer average so for average we know that average will be should be in decimal right so we can go with decimal and for decimal we can say 10 now let's say uh, 7 comma 2 so what it will do is it will tell that uh, there are total seven digits can be there and two is for the decimal point like after a point there can be two only and rest of them should be on the left of the and then we can put next that is sixers now that will be integer again fours that will be an integer and wickets that will be integer and five for this we need to go like this five wickets right uh, nope it should be different it should be five wickets and that will be integer we can close the bracket do we have to 
Mm, no, this time we are just adding this, right? And we should be able to run this. And I should get command completed successfully, hopefully. And it did. And if I go there, uh, I should see all the tables in here. You can see I have the cricket uh, database. In cricket database in there I have the cricket table right there if I go there and I can see check all the columns so first one is player ID that's right there and then everything is listed there up to five wickets so if I were to <coughs> check the column so I can select star from right cricket let's see can I run this and it's giving me everything in the column format and if I were to check SP underscore help CRI cricket can I run this to get anything out here and I get a list with what type of it we I can I've obviously check over there as well but I can ne neatly I can verify that uh, this is the and they go in the order that I put it in player ID player name age location number of matches number of innings so everything goes like that and this is one I want to show it the average decimal if I go here average you see seven and two so that's how it goes in there and then it shows you what it is it's an integer decimal variable character what exactly it is <coughs> so next we want to so there was another select star from information schema dot tables and let's see if I get anything here execute and I get the uh, table catalog in the database there is the table and that is cricket so in this database if there were more it will list here and I can do the column here as well so if I were to go and go to columns it should show me all the columns that are in there so if I were to execute it you see it's showing me all the columns that I created and that is in this database oh, sorry in this table in this database so that's how we can go and check them all right so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one